All right. I'm going to be connecting with another ancient alien race. If you're interested in checking out the other sessions I've done tuning into ancient alien races, I'm going to put links in the description. Let me read the goals here. I'm going to get tuned in. What are we going to experience? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Says, hi, Abby. Ancient race reconnection 3.0 time. <laughs> this time, can we please visit the Alithir? A L I T H I R race, Alithir race, and go with the flow to share, explore, transmute. Thank you. <sighs> I am so excited right now. <sighs> gotta calm down, gotta chill out. I've never heard of any of these races, so you're really expanding my horizons here by introducing these races to me and giving me an opportunity to just tap in to their energy and the wisdom they have to share with us from the past into the present, into the future, because we're all interconnected. All right, Alethea race. That's what I'm going to, that's how I'm going to pronounce it, okay? Still calming down here. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's like a blanket. And I feel infected, like an infection. The blanket is thick. And it's like a, a gray color that has some green in it. Like an olive green with a lot of gray. And then it has red spots. And it actually comes and surrounds me and it's even kind of like sucking on me like I'm a sucker like my whole body is like it's just uh, wrapped all around me and then it's almost like I'm being digested inside of this weird blanket and I experience the word infection. There's a lot more to say about this. I'm going to continue to have an aspect of myself experience being consumed by an infection. All the while, there's another me that is overlooking the shoulder of a male persona. And there's a t technology in the air. And he's uh, tapping into this technology. I'm hearing all kinds of uh, different sounds, different notes of sound. So every time he makes a tap, it makes a different sound. And it's interesting because you could say, you know, back in the day in the 50s, um, they might have like a, a hokey show about aliens and they'd be do 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 as like the machine is thinking. <laughs> um, it actually um, plays harmonic sounds. So as they tap, it, it, it's some kind of um, a musical language. And it is intelligent, okay? Okay. Imagine if... Imagine if we spoke in notes, in, in sound, and we knew the language of music. It's literally, it's super intelligent. I mean, I'm experiencing this male's persona seamlessly creating what could be an orchestra, um, a symphony uh, of, uh, of musical um, communication um, through this um, device that is in the air. And I hear when he moves his hands, it makes sounds, but it's also creating, a, it's, it's a language of some kind. I'm going to slow down for a moment. I still have a version of me that's being consumed by an infection. Another version of me is experiencing a musical language. I will say it's pretty overwhelming on my brain to experience the infection. It's, it's bothering my brain. Okay, there's more to be said here. So there's going to be another version of me. So I have one version with the infection, one version with the musical language. Another version is going on a pathway into the sky. <laughs> a 
Oh, this is very peculiar. From this musical language, there opens a portal in the sky. And I know what I'm doing. And I'm literally being vacuumed up into a portal. I'm being literally sucked up into it. And it's it's just simply like an elevator. It's like a, a mall elevator. But this is surreal um, to see and feel and experience this as a human being. And this uh, portal is activated by the musical language. And so I'm just going, getting sucked through what is like a wormhole. And I feel it is like a suction, sucking me through it, through an intestine in the universe. The universe as an actual human body, as a physical body with intestines, intestines as wormholes. And tapping into the body of the universe and getting sucked into it and digested through it. But it doesn't hurt you. It just poops you out somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what the message is helping us to understand how they travel the universe. I'm supposed to keep just going with the flow because I wanted to go back and ask questions about the infection. Um, I just feel like it, it's it's still... Um, it's causing issues with my... Uh, I feel it in that space as having an impact in the frequency patterns of my brain. Is it possible that this race of beings has gone through different timelines, different realities? Um, some of them went through the infection. Some of them went through um, advancements in traveling the universe. Some of them went through something else. That there's been um, a split in the pathway of this race of beings. Because this infection is not like um, I got spots all over and now I'm itching. It's literally like a slow digestion of um, the brain frequency like an Alzheimer's. But it doesn't say, it doesn't define it as an Alzheimer's. It even sort of alters the pattern of their thinking. Um, in a way, it sounds crazy. It's like human ascension. We're raising our vibration. This is altering their vibrational um, patterns. It's um, altering the evolution of their race. The infection is. It's not like they caught a sickness. They caught a vibrational change. <laughs> and they evolved differently. That's what this is like to me. Okay, now this is much different feeling. And I'm uh, in a room with a blockhead. <laughs> he literally has a, a giant cube um, for a head, but it's not perfectly flat. Um, it's kind of rounded at the edges. And his skin is like an orangish color. And he, he almost looks like a pumpkin head. He has eyes and a mouth. And he has a humanoid-like body. He's, in a way, wearing a dress. Um, it bows out at the sleeves, and then it kind of comes in at the wa waist and then bows out, and it um, kind of has a, a rounded bottom. And it goes to his ankles, and it's a whitish color. And he's in a, in a room that is a block as well. They seem to have a sense of humor because... He is somehow funny, okay? I don't know if he actually has a blockhead, but he's showing me himself as a blockhead, okay? Or maybe this is how I'm making sense of um, what this collective, um, the what we are to learn from this collective, okay? I, I can't help but I say, did you guys become blockheads? Did the infection do this to you? I, I, it feels so rude. It feels so mean. Like I'm calling him a blockhead. Okay, let me see what he says. No, he's not a blockhead. Um, he's actually pretty straight. And he has a, a strange spear, but he says it's not a weapon. Um, and it's really skinny and long, it's uh, metallic, it comes to a rounded point, um, and it's sharp at the tip. 
but he prefers to define it more as a pointer stick um, for pointing at things at a long distance. So he's pointing right now with his pointer stick. <laughs> I'm telling you, they have a sense of humor somehow. Okay. <laughs> I can't help it. All right, I'm gonna calm down here. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Not with his pointer stick. <laughs> he shows me, um, he's pointing and he did not hurt the fly. He did not stick it with his pointer stick. It's like the driest humor that is so hilarious somehow, because it's so surreal. I'm gonna calm down so I can actually talk to this guy. Okay, I tell him that I can't help it, he's really funny. All right. He is altering the vibrational pattern of this room and we're standing um, in a like a meadow. Um, he's a teacher. And he shows me how he can, it's almost like he can expand his soul energy and alter the vibrational pattern of of the dimension, the space, um, so that when you're when he's teaching you, you're actually learning in his energy field, and he's altering the pattern so he can show you things in his energy field. And then he has this pointer stick, which he doesn't actually say he has this. He he's um, trying to help us understand his role um, that he's helping blockheads. <laughs> Is that what he's saying? Let me ask him. He's saying that his pointer stick is, is a tool that teachers have, and he's using a pointer stick to show us that he's a teacher. What about you as a blockhead? He wants me to just be in the meadow of his energy field. He wants me to tell you that evolution is a beautiful process. But it could feel like an infection that is um, absorbed into your mind. Um, and that the race, this race actually went through evolution just like we are. Um, and that if you could see how far they've come. Um, they, you, you could say they started like us and slowly evolved um, with the gift of this infection, which was never an infection. It was a vibrational change that inspired the evolution of their race so that they could become more expanded, more aware. And they started to work with musical notes in order to tap into the body of the universe, in order to travel the universe. And that he's a teacher. Um, and that this is real and this is something that we can evolve into doing, all of these things. As well as um, teaching each other in our own energy field. Um, actually working with the, the power of our own soul to create a dimensional space that students can step into and you can show them things. Um, uh, that your soul has to share. He says that he feels great. <laughs> um, this is really hard to understand about time, but he's saying something about um, three steps, uh, three major um, steps of evolution that started with um, the infection and then... Um, the evolution to a musical language, um, and then to where he is now. It almost feels like they can phase in and out of our dimensional plane. But I feel him at a much higher dimension, so he would be invisible to us. And I still feel him as a physical being, just at a different dimensional plane. He shows me his head is still shaped like a block, and this time he has one large cyclops eye. And he loves storytelling. He loves playing with the imagination in order to create with new ideas that create emotions. It all comes from the musical language. 
Because as he says this, I feel so much music coming from his heart as he tells me this. I mean, musical language is so much more than words because um, they're attracted to the music that um, creates light, not the music that creates um, a suffocation. Um, they're really um, beautiful, joyous sounds. And there's so many beautiful, joyous sounds. And when he describes telling a story, he's saying it with so many different musical notes from in his heart. And he loves um, Greek mythological stories. So like um, he likes uh, stories that are about um, surreal people, people with different abilities, um, different types of faces, different um, personalities from the average human. It really feels Greek to me, um, not like Greek and Egyptian and, um, you know, all, it feels Greek to me. It has a very specific feeling to it. So I share musical notes um, that I feel my personal soul would define Egypt. And I say, what about Egypt? Ah, he says, ah, the student is learning. <laughs> the student is learning my musical communication. Let's <laughs> see what he says now. He, like, when he said that, oh, the student is learning. It's like, <laughs> like a musical notes coming out of his heart. Like, he... Um... Um, he does feel like there's different harmonies that he expresses that are that are surprising to me because um, there's some sadder notes in this and they make me feel heavy and he's um, sh he says sound is a very powerful tool and especially because they're this race is so developed and they're so developed to the point that they can actually alter your per perspective perception of things like if there was a being standing here it might look like you're at a beautiful waterfall but really you're in the middle of a desert you're just at a beautiful waterfall inside their energy field um they're somehow able to alter the reality um and they're doing this through harmony through frequency through altering patterns and they're so good at it that when they express sound, they have to be careful because um, he just expressed a note that was sad and it actually made me feel like I was going to get sick. <laughs> um, so he's very careful to be um, how he's expressing the musical notes <laughs> of communication. It's like when you connect with these beings, they can express through thought, they can express through feelings, um, they can express through silence. Um, they can express through geometric shapes. Um, they can express through music. So you have to kind of tune into their communication style or sometimes they'll tune into your communication style. Um, so it's, 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 it's workable. Like I can understand, I can understand what he's saying through music, okay? Um, and it just sounds like notes, all right? But I realize how destructive um, certain notes are. And I can feel that if you amplify sound, it could literally destroy you. Like you could use sound for good or sound for really, really bad. And that's why they're very, very careful how they speak because they don't ever want to hurt each other or anybody else. So it gives us the question, um, how are we careful about how we speak? Um, he's not saying that. However, he's definitely sharing that through his communication style. He's really pleasant. He's very, very pleasant to talk to. I mean, I it's hard for me to track the vein back to planet Earth because this seems like such a long time ago. Um, I really don't feel like a deep connection with planet Earth um, because it's so ascended. It feels so ascended beyond the planet. I mean, it almost feels like a spirit, um, a spirit race, um, an energy race. It doesn't need the food. It doesn't need food. It doesn't need water. Um, but yet in that dimensional experience, they share a memory. They share... Um, their feelings they share in their way. 
These aren't spirits, though. They're not like, um, they are an actual living race. Hmm. Okay, that's all I can share about that. It was so interesting. Thank you so much. I value the, these experiences so much. Thank you for sharing. Hmm. Still like surreal right now. Still coming back into myself. <laughs> All right. Um, if any of you watching are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. You can also find me at two other YouTube channels. One of them is Abby Normal. The other is Zodiac Energy Readings. And I'm also on Patreon. I'm doing live streaming out there. Um, so if you're interested in joining my Patreon community, you can do so at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. All right, thank you all so much for watching. Really enjoyed this experience so much. All right, have a great rest of your day, everybody. <laughs>